My name is Mohamed Abdallah. I'm originally from Sudan. I started playing soccer when I was six years old. At first, I didn't like it because um, the ball that um, we used, it wasn't, it wasn't like a soccer ball right here because we had to make our own soccer ball. We just keep adding a lot of socks or bags just to make it big enough, just like a soccer ball. My name is Asende Wilongo. My parents are from Congo. They told me that there was a war in Congo. They had to run all the way from Congo to the place that, in Tanzania. I came to America because obviously struggles in Africa, a lot of stealing going on, going, going on around uh, like the whole neighborhood, the place that we lived in. When I was in refugee camp, it was horrible because um, if you were outside around 8, 8 p.m., you probably get shot or, get, or just get sentenced to jail. My name is Omgai. My home country is Myanmar. My journey to my destination, it took about four or five months. We walked through mountains. We walked through villages, small villages that's in the forest. And then sometimes we have to hide from the soldiers that go, goes around. If they catch us, they kill us. So we hide. When we reach our destination, we had like nothing, no shoe. We had torn clothes. It was, it was tough. When I was going through the journey, and I feel like I have a lot of experience of what tough is. I would say uh, the hardest part coming to America was uh, not speaking English, not understanding what's going on because I didn't speak the language. I didn't even know English. I didn't even know a lot of stuff going on. So Global Sea helped me with all of that. Global Sea is a, a soccer team, but it's not just also a soccer team. They also like, um, they help us with a lot of stuff with education. So. Global is like a family. They care for us, not just soccer. They provide us with food, education, mentors. The Global FC is like a great community that helps people out to experience soccer and um, to experience just being around great people. They show me how to live in this new life, basically, in this new world where I came, how to make friends how to learn, buy stuff, everything that I need, I guess. The exciting thing about Global FC and what makes us different than everybody else is we have an education program, we have a mentoring program, and we have a soccer program and everything works together. So you have to go to our tutoring program in order to go to soccer. One of the unique things that our club does is provide transportation for all the kids, to and from practice, to and from tutoring, to and from games. Um, it literally takes an army to make this happen. So we have a ton of volunteer drivers driving into their neighborhoods, waiting outside their houses. It's a huge task, but all our volunteers are so passionate and they know that there's just no way these kids can have the same opportunities if we don't go and get them. My parents are not able to take me to practice because not home, because they work a lot. 95% of the kids in our club are refugees. All these kids are from different countries and they all bring a, a different style of play and they all bring like a different passion to the game, you know. Since I've been here, I've realized that the passion and the energy that they bring is something that is not normal in the United States. They don't care what the record is. Half the time they don't even know what division we're playing in or what league we're playing in. They know that we have a game at 9 o'clock on Saturday and they are so excited to go out there and play. So about a year ago, Global FC and Kansas City Scott Gallagher uh, formed an alliance. And the reason we did that is because we needed an, a higher level outlet for our players. And so this really gives our top players that are willing to do the things they need to do to get there, this gives them an avenue to get seen by college coaches. From day one, they, they impressed and uh, we're, we're turning coaches' heads to the point of everybody's asking, Who's that kid? What's that kid? Tell me more about him. And some, you can definitely see the, the raw talent and everything shine out. 
Every Wednesday, I'll, uh, uh, I'll, I'll run out and, uh, and pick them up. We'll get to training a, a little bit early. We'll go grab a sandwich and, uh, and really just hang out. We also understand and, and try to, to draw the lines to where soccer and education meet. We've been given access to a, a database, essentially, of grades that all of the Global FC players have. And we know when there's opportunities that are coming up for them, uh, the ones that aren't getting it done in the classroom aren't the ones that, that will get those opportunities. And they know that, that's a part of what makes this alliance work and make it successful, where we can, again, keep those two clubs and keep the identity of what they are, but really bring it into one through one common passion. An organization like Global FC is important because we didn't know much about the community and the refugees that are living in Kansas City and just bringing it to everyone's awareness and like establishing this partnership with you know KCSG seeing the impact it's had on my own son and giving him the opportunity to be you know experience those cultures and have those experiences has, has been you know just really rewarding since we're always with them we always like go out to eat or like play games in the hotel and they're like really fun to play with in the hotel and we always like they have a lot of games that everyone else hasn't played so it's a lot of fun to play in Tanzania we didn't like have have um, phones so we didn't play games on the phone we played like games in real life the kids on the Scott Gallagher team they were very awesome kids they welcomed me very much and they're very respectful kids I am very grateful to be playing for this team because it's a team that really helped me out with a lot of things. Yeah. What I'm most grateful for is that we came here, I met Glover, my family met Glover, and we joined Scott Gallagher. Ready? Hello, Mo. You and the young three! One, two!